It's the first time being on fresh press grass. Working on your new pen. Almost done. Pretty exciting, isn't it? I'm excited to see you guys out on the fresh grass. How are you liking the wood chips? Smells so much better over here now with the new wood chips down. The bugs are gone. All right, so I got the fence all put up. I'll give you. I'll show you guys that in a minute. How I'm connecting it to the electric fence is I'm using a Ken Cove farm fence. Reason why I'm using the poultry netting is I have it, so it's just easier to use it. On one end, this end, it's got the where you'd hook it up to the electric fence. Fencer. So what I'm gonna do right here. I have my electric fence for the outside. I'm going to go ahead and just run a wire jumper from here to the fencer. Just cut a small piece of wire. Just going to wrap it around this. Wrap it around the fence. And I'll just go back up. Just took my poultry netting, ran it as long as I could in the woods near my rock wall. And that's the pen. So once they yeah, once they clear out the area right here behind me, I'm going to figure out a way to fence it in down here through the rock wall and the higher grass. My goal is, the goal is while they're still here, to have them clean up around the rock wall. During this winter I cut down, there's a bunch of shrub all the way out until about the grass, the higher grass line of just shrubs and trees starting that were growing up in there. So we cleared it out this winter, hoping that they'll finish rooting it up and getting the stumps out for me. Might as well put them to work on the homestead while they're here. So I just gotta go in the house, get a new battery and charge my old battery up for the fence. I'll show you what I've been using. I just have an old car battery. I should get a solar charger to charge it, but I don't. It's just an old car battery that I got from work. Um, when I know it's been on there for a while and it's dead, I just bring it in, put it on my trickle charger, and I have a boat battery, I swap it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll get right back to you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let the pigs out, let's see how they do. Got some food scraps. Got an electric gate on the outside. That one on the inside. Here they come. Come on. Getting the pigs through a gate for the first time sometimes is a little bit of work. Got a food. Right at the gate entrance. Sounds good, don't it? How bad do you want it, Patches? Ain't 
got the nose over. They're coming out. Oh. Patch has made it out. Waddles is still nervous. She's the one that's a little more skittish. She wants to. Come on, Waddles. Come on. Patch is getting all the good food. Come on, Waddles. Still good, last week's watermelon. Get both of them. Up. All right, let's see if we can entice Waddles out with last week's watermelon. Now don't toss it out, get down there with the bowl afterwards. And let her smell it, see what's in there. Take it down. Crush down to her level. Watermelon and waddle Back up for a minute. Back up. Back up away from the waddle. That's some good watermelon patches or what? Oh, that was Waddle Patches doing that. Oh, well, Waddle do. Over the threshold. The watermelon's working. Did it! Woohoo! Both the pigs are out. Stay back here, let me. Only took 15 minutes. Waddle can get a mouthful of charcoal now. Funny. Say back in the day, the old farmers used to feed their pigs charcoal to help them with any. Issues. Well, it looks like they probably just ate it. They didn't have an issue feeding it to them. What a life.
Thanks guys for watching. Another episode over at Lumna Acres. We got to let the pigs out today, put the fence up. The pigs are having fun out on the green pasture. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. And like we always say, we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.